Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are in a Sukhoi 30 MKI and we're going to join this formation here and go ahead and do a little patrol. We're going to stick with our formation of Sukhoi 30s here. I don't want to get too separated um, unless we get intercepted in which case you know we'll do our thing and uh, hopefully these guys will provide cover for us and uh, we'll see how we do. I do find the Sukhoi 30 to be one of the better looking flanker aircraft out there. Flankers are all good looking, you know, but I don't know, I kind of like the Sukhoi 30. Okay, it looks like they're banking to the left here. So we are carrying uh, R-73s, archers. We're carrying the Astra missile, which is the domestic Indian Fox 3 missile. And we also have some modernized versions of the R-27 missile. Instead of the Fox 1 variant, uh, we have the EA variant, which is the Fox 3 modernized R-27. We also have the R-27 ET, which many of you will recognize is the Russian long-range Fox 2. Um, very, very sneaky, sneaky missile, and uh, extremely problematic if you don't see it coming. I'll right, go ahead and stay in formation here. pop-up group and you can see everybody's breaking off they're all going into their tactical formations I'm gonna start climbing for 100 they are 100 uh, kilometers away at this point Okay, we're going to climb, bust through these clouds here, and start engaging. That guy already Fox, there he goes. That's probably a Russian R-27, Fox 3. I have the Astra missile selected. There's the EA, which I'm going to actually try to shoot first. There we go, got my luck. Okay, they are now 70 miles off the nose. Enfield 1-1, one, one. Overlord 1-1, one, one. Bra 020470 at 12,000 knots. Okay, they're at 12,000 now, so they're climbing. They got me locked. Enfield Almost one, in range here. Overlord 1-1, one, one. Bra 019460 at 8,000 knots. Okay, here we go. Fox 3. Enfield and then I'm going to break the lock. Another bandit, Fox 3 again, I'm going to break that one, right here, Fox 3 again. We're defending. There's like 8 of them over there, so those missiles will pit bull on somebody, they'll kill something over there. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that.
All right, as we continue our defensive maneuver here, the JF-17 SD-10 is a very dangerous missile. Uh, so we're going to defend quite aggressively here. Okay, there's the missile launch. As we continue cold, by the way, this is where we are. We're falling back. Speed. Still defending. Speed. And you can see I got the data link there in the bottom right hand screen. So I can see what's going on. See so multiple kills. Some of those look like they might be friendlies. Okay, we're going to recommit here. There's still lots of these guys in the air. Look at this. This is a problem. There's still a lot of these guys up. Fox 1, there is another group of bandits now off to my right hand side. You can see another group. That's fantastic. I didn't have enough problems. Now we have a second group. I can't re engage the JF 17s, they're uh, just too close. So I'm just gonna basically drive to the right and intercept that second group now and hope that I can at least kill a bunch of them I don't think this situation is going to end well for me but I'm going to try to take as many of them as I can with me here now uh, that group is now committing onto me they're coming nose hot towards me now I'm going to start climbing here and momentarily here Fox 3. There it goes. Now we're going to turn off. We're going to defend because there's probably missiles coming at me. Just try to recommit here and get one more missile off. Hopefully. Come on. There we go. That'll do. Fox 3 again. And once again, we're defending. Okay, another missile. F 16s. So those are F 16s of the second group. Uh, they're firing AMRAMs at me, so that's, that's not nice. Okay, we're going to continue defending here. Splash one, splash two. You can see two splashes off in the distance there. We got two of them. Uh, the AWACS just abruptly stopped talking, which is not good. That's usually a bad sign. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, they shot down the AWACS. There goes my data link. <laughs> this is just gets better and better, this situation. Now I have no friends, no data link. I'm essentially blind. They've completely degraded my ability to fight here. And I think I'm being flanked from two different directions. So, Fox 3. Overgy, overgy, and we overgy, continue overgy, to defend. Overgy, overgy. The 
these guys have got to be closing on me now. And I don't know how close... Oh, a missile just went right over my head. Oh my god, that was close. Okay, that's not good. Because that missile went by fast, which means it had more than enough energy. Oh yeah. Great. Ooh, lucky to get out of that one. See how badly that thing is spinning? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Alright. Well, I think we put up a really good fight. We were not easy to kill. Those guys uh, felt the pressure for sure. But they did finally get us. All right, guys, here we go with a quick little tack view review of what went down. We have a bunch of one, two, three, four, five uh, Sukhoi 30 flankers, MKIs, and you have them flying together. And then here we have the JF-17s show up, of which there are eight. There's actually quite a few of these guys. And so you can see uh, two of the flankers, one of which is me start flying uh, high maybe three actually three of them start to fly high uh, these two guys are going to engage at this altitude and they're going to take high cover i guess so um obviously like this is what's going to increase the probability of launch now this guy actually fires an r27 from way out here which is very impressive range at 44 nautical miles that's not a bad launch same with this guy but this guy is much lower so I mean, there's no way this missile is going to hit, but this one might actually be dangerous. But, you know, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, I'm back here. This is me. Uh, JF-17s have not fired either. And those missiles are actually... Those are all right. They got quite a bit of range on them. R-27, R-27. So these are the EA variants, which are kind of Fox 3 variants of the R-27, more modernized version. And so you can see that they have very nice range. I did not think they could do that. Those are not far off from AMRAM performance. Okay, now, but we can see that they had no, <laughs> they basically don't track anything. Typical Russian seeker heads, they don't see anything. Um, so I finally get up here at about 29 miles from, I think it's this guy, 25 miles from the, the lead bandit. And just start rippling off Astra missiles, right? So there's one, two. Now, one of the limitations of the flanker in DCS is that I can't TWS multiple targets like the modernized flankers. So I have to lock, fire, unlock, fire again, unlock, fire again. So these missiles are actually quite limited, but the reason I did them, like they're not getting a lot of guidance information from my aircraft, right? But the reason I did it like this is because um, I'm firing them into this horde of bandits. You know, there's like eight guys coming. Like this missile, as long as it heads in the general direction, once it goes pitbull, it should see something to hit, you know? You would never do this if you had friendlies here or even civilian aircraft in this area. Um, but you have, when you have like a horde of eight of them, I feel like you can get away with it. So um, I fire three of these in. You can see a lot more Astra missiles now being fired by the rest of the flankers. There's all kinds of missiles in the air. We got the JF-17s firing their SD-10s. Um, so what I'm gonna actually do, and I'm breaking away, right? So what I'm gonna do is get rid of the labels just to decrease the chaos a little bit. And let's watch these missiles. One, two. Nope, this guy just died. Okay, so the first flanker is, or the first JF-17 dies right here. And so does one flanker. 
one of the flank or one of the Sukhoi 30s gets an SD10. He gets hit dead and one JF17. So both died together, actually. It's quite interesting. Um, we have one of my Astra missiles about to hit that guy. Splash one right there. Uh, and we have oh, another JF17 just died here. And then splash another one right there. And I fired one more and I don't see where it is, but it doesn't matter. Um, but basically, so you can see that's the that's the remnants of the fight. You can see the chaotic na nature of such an engagement. Um, and we have one, two, three, four, four JF-17s that have survived. And none of the flankers survived that first engagement just because there were so many SD-10s being fired and they did not defend adequately. So all of the, the Sukhoi 30s are dead, um, except for me. So I'm going to recommit. And you see this bubble here. This is my air defense net, and that's my AWACS. Right? So basically, we're going to recommit here. And there's a Fox 3 from Astra missile right there. And there's not much I can do at this point. I can just try to kill as many of them as I can. And I try to lure them into my air defense site as well. That's uh, one of my only options left. And that must actually hit him. Wow. Did not expect that. And then, so one of the only things left for me to do is, by now the F-16s have showed up. Right, a flight of F-16s just came here. I got one, two, and I think three JF-17s. Yeah, that's the third one right there. So three JF-17s. So what I can't do is, you know, turn back into them because they're way too close. So if I turn back, I die. All I can do is run back to my air defense. And at the same time, I'm like, well, I would like to engage some of these F-16s, right? So um, instead of going like this, which would present my, my six to them as well, once they came in and I wouldn't be able to engage anything, obviously the natural choice is to go towards the F-16s. And I'm like, you know, I'll run from these guys and I'll engage the F-16s, I'll shoot at them and then I'll run away this way back to the air defense site and try to thin out the herds on both sides best we can. And so we end up here firing an R27 EA. That's again a Fox 3 variant. There's an M120C coming in, very dangerous. These F16s are uh, quite high, so that is pretty dangerous for me. As you can see, I have two JF17s who were high altitude who could definitely dive and kill me, but they have chosen to engage the AWACS. They are also being engaged by air defense sites. Um, my R27 EA hits that F16 and kills him, and there I am defending. And we got multiple 120 Cs in the air, so we've dodged like all kinds of SD10s and stuff at this point. Um, did that guy just get hit? Yeah, this guy just got hit by an air defense missile. He seems okay though, but he did get hit. Um, anyway, so we kind of recommit, not knowing that there's a JF-17 right here. And the reason I don't know that, that he's four miles away from me, is that these guys just killed my AWACS. Right? Look, the AWACS just went down and I lost data link. Right? So I don't, I didn't know that this guy was as close as he was. Luckily, I turn away from him instead of into him, but it's not going to matter much because here's four miles Fox 3 at uh, that F-16. And look at that. Amazingly, that missile misses. Don't know why, but it missed. So one missile, and then this is the one that um, hits me right here. And I hit that F-16, by the way, in the, in the distance there. And bam, I'm dead. And we have one, two, three JF-17s, four JF-17s that have survived the engagement. Um, four JF-17s shot down, two F-16s shot down. Oh no, wait a minute. JF-17, F-16, JF-17, JF-17. Okay, three JF-17s have survived. 
and three F-16s were shot down. So that's interesting. Okay, only four. So it was actually five versus 12, I believe. And uh, only four of them survived. So I think a uh, pretty decent fight there. Put up a, a decent resistance, I think. All right, guys, that's going to be the TACV review for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.